In this video, we see the next problem on equivalence relation. We have already seen three problems for the same. Let's see the fourth problem, a subjective problem again on equivalence relation. Let's get started and read the problem together. Relation R in the set Z. This set Z means set of integers, right? Z means integers, like R means real number as it is. Of all integers defined as this relation is given to me on x and y which is an ordered pair as x minus y is an integer. x minus y is an integer. Okay. And we have to check whether this is an equivalence relation or not. Now I know by the three problems that we did earlier and the video on the description of equivalence relation that any relation is an equivalence relation when it is symmetric reflexive and transitive. So let's see whether this is reflexive or not. I put the heading reflexive and let's see whether this is reflexive or not. x minus y is an integer is the relation given to me. Now if every element of a set is related to itself it is reflexive. Now if I replace y by x what do we see? x minus x which is what which is 0 now is 0 an integer yes 0 is an integer so this relation is reflexive as it follows for x belonging to integer I have 0 also an integer hence this is reflexive Now let's see whether this relation is symmetric or not. So I put the heading as symmetric and let's see whether this is symmetric. I have x comma y belonging to this relation r. That means x minus y is an integer. So I have x y belonging to r already. Now let's see whether y comma x also belongs to r. For simplification purpose of understanding, I can write this as x minus y is equal to some integer because it is given x minus y is an integer. So let me take the integer as k. I have assumed the relation in such a manner where the integer is given to me as k. I write it as an integer. Now for checking symmetricity, I need to find out whether if xy belongs to r, I also have yx belongs to r. Let me see. Now y minus x means the difference of x from y. y minus x is what? It is minus of x minus y. I can take minus sign as common. Now from the above equation, I have x minus y as what? I have x minus y as k. So now this becomes as minus of k, which is again an integer. If this is a positive integer, this is negative. If this is negative, it is positive. So again, it is what? It is an integer. And that was the condition. That was the condition for the relation in the question that it should be an integer. Yes, it is an integer. That means it is what? It is again symmetric. Yes, it is symmetric. Yes, it is reflexive. The third and the final that we need to check is whether it is transitive or not. So let's see whether it is transitive. I put the heading as transitive and let's see whether it is transitive. Now, for transitive, we need to take up three pairs one by one. x minus y is equal to an integer, say k. This I have already taken, so I can take it again for x and y belonging to R. Let me take this as equation number one. Now let's take a second pair y and z, wherein y minus z, I can take it up as another integer. Let me take it as L. This is another integer. This is all an assumption to prove whether it is transitive or not. This can be taken as equation number two. Now, if I add the equations 1 and 2, if I add the equations 1 and 2, what do I get? 
I get these things added up and the right hand sides that means KLL added up. So it becomes X minus Y plus Y minus Z is equal to K plus L. Now some things get cancelled. Minus Y and plus Y get cancelled. That means I have X minus Z is equal to K plus L. What is this? This tells me that X and Z are also related with K L L, K and L two integers added up. Sum of integers is also an integer, so right hand side is an integer. Hence, X and Z also belongs to R. And since X and Z also belongs to R, so yes, this is transitive. Since it is symmetric, reflexive and transitive, so it is always an equivalence relation. So yes, we can write down that it is what? It is an equivalence relation. Since it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. This was the fourth sample problem on equivalence relation.